Butchers are unhappy with the artificial scarcity of the commodity. And Sarah Ayuko reports. For more than a week, butchers, traders and consumers of red meat have endured the worrisome situation. In a state like Lagos, that consumes over 50% of red meat produced in Nigeria, the situation is gradually becoming unbearable for the butchers, who are the middlemen. The strike and backed on by the cattle and foodstuff dealers under the name of the Amalgamated Union of Foodstuff and Cattle Dealers in Nigeria is driving up prices of beef, food and vegetables. At the Lagos State Abattoir in Okwaba, Agege, reputed to be the biggest in Nigeria, about 900 cows are slaughtered daily. That's no longer the case. Empty trailer parks, empty slabs, few buyers with the butchers scampering to get cows to sell and satisfy their customers. But that seems impossible. See the market as it is before, it will be rowdy. There is no cow. We don't know what really happened, but we are begging the federal government of Nigeria. It is him that can do this. It is him that can give order. So we are expecting them to be at the round table for it. Most of the butchers are frustrated and angry. As the price of a cow didn't just double in the market, it's tripled. <laughs> Even alternatives like fish and eggs don't come cheap. Even with one of the sellers, she tells us that this fish is 700 naira. She bought it for 650 naira and she's making a profit of 50 naira. It's not just meat that is expensive in the market. Perishable food items are also now expensive. Lagos, being the largest market for cattle in sub saharan Africa, that receives over 1.8 million cattle in a year, is looking towards charting a new course for meat production and consumption in the state. Sarah Ayeko, TVC News, Lagos.